the basal ganglion or basal nucleus, then commissural fibers, and then lateral ventricle. Understand? At first, the basal nucleus are the gray matter uh, located in the white matter of the lower parts of the hemisphere at the basis part, okay? Basis, uh, basal nucleus includes corpus striatum. Look at this preparate. This is corpus striatum. Striatum. The claustrum. This is claustrum. Claustrum. And amygdaloid body. I don't you um, show amygdaloid body. But you must know that this body lies at the temporal lobe um, near temporal polus. Understand? Mm -hmm. Understand. Functionally, this body is attributed the limbic system. The corpus triatum consists of the caudate nucleus and lentiform nucleus, two nucleus. This is caudate nucleus. This is lentiform nucleus. Understand? Okay. The lentiform nucleus lentiformis, Latin name, is located laterally from thalamus. This is thalamus. Uh, it includes the putamen. This is putamen, most laterally structure, putamen. And this is globus pallidus, putamen globus pallidus. Uh, the caudate nucleus, caudate nucleus has three parts. A very big part, caput or head. This is caput of nuclear caudati. This is caput. Then it has body and the tail. Understand? Uh, then uh, the claustrum. The claustrum is the great matter too. But you can see uh, the white matter. This is the extern external capsula. Capsula external white matter between putamen and claustrum. And this is capsula extrema mm -hmm. between claustrum and the gray matter from uh, of insula. This is insula. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. The corpus triatum consists of two parts. The old part uh, has name paleostriatum. Paleostriatum includes paleostriatum includes globus pallidus and the neostriatum includes putamen and nucleus caudatus understand paleostriatum and neostriatum the corpus triatum is the main center of the extra pyramidal system it is the primary motor center primary motor center then you can see the next white uh, matter, capsula interna, inter, externa, extrema, interna. Capsula interna consists of the anterior uh, limb, or crus, crus anterior, genu, and posterior limb. Anterior limb uh, is located between between together caput of uh, nucleus caudatus and nucleus lentiformis and posteriorly is situated between the uh, nucleus lentiformis and thalamus. Uh, through the um, genu, through the genu, this is capsule interna too. Through this capsula goes tractus. Through the genome uh, of the internal capsule 
goes the cortica nuclear tract. This is cortica nuclear tract. From the anterior uh, limb uh, goes uh, cortica pontine. Pan frontal pontine tract. Frontal pontine tract. And uh, from <laughs> from the posterior limb, from the posterior limb uh, goes cortical spinal tract, thalamica cortical, optic and acoustic radiation. You must know it at home. Okay? Uh, again, look, this is capsula extrema, claustrum, capsula externa. Uh, nucleus lentiformis. This is putamen, globus pallidus. Capsula interna, anteriorly, geno, and posteriorly. This is caput, uh, the biggest, biggest part of the nucleus caudatus, caput. On this picture, together, this is caput, of nucleus caudatus. This is nucleus lentiformis, capsula interna, capsula externa, claustrum, and capsula extrema. Understand me? Okay. Then, uh, the commissural fibers. Uh, the biggest uh, commissural fibers uh, is uh, the corpus callosum. Um, its fibers goes from one hemisphere to another, right and left hemisphere. And also the um, commissural uh, fibers, this is um, fornix. Oh, this is fornix. This is model of fornix. And this is fornix. fornix. Now, corpus callosum, you know it. Uh, it has uh, splenium. Uh, trucus, trucus. No, this is trucus. Then, geno and rostrum. Okay? Again, splenium. Trucus. Or trunk. Trunk. In English, trucus in Latin. Geno and a rostrum. Okay. Uh, the superior surface of this corpus, superior surface, is covered with a fin of a gray uh, matter. This is Indusium griseo, Latin name, Indusium griseo, on the superior surface of corpus callosum. Under the corpus callosum, you can see septum pellucidum, number 14, septum pellucidum. And then under corpus callosum, you can see fornix, fornix. This is fornix two model. Uh, fornix consists of a body, a column, and a cruz. The cruz of fornix is uh, connected with hypocampus. This is hypocampus, and this is hypocampus. On this placard, you can see only two parts of fornix. This is corpus and this is column. Uh, cruz goes inside the uh, hemisphere. Understand me? Okay. Then the uh, lateral ventricle. This material, understood. Okay. A, cor a, a great, a thin, a great uh, matter uh, is called uh, gris Indusium griseum. Indusium griseum. Inside, inside of sulcus corporacular. Inside, in this sulcus, okay. Lateral ventricle. There are two lateral ventricles. In the left hemisphere, the first ventricle, and in the right hemisphere, the second ventricle, lateral ventricle. This is the third, the first uh, lateral, and this is the second. This is the third ventricle, and this is the fourth ventricle. At this lesson, you must know only lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle has the central part uh, in the parietal lobe. 
the central part, and uh, three horns. Anterior, corno in Latin, corno, corno anterior or corno frontalis. Corno posterior or corno occipitalis and corno inferior or temporalis. Understand? The central part, corno anterior, corno posterior, corno inferior or temporalis. Then. This is horizontal, flat, 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 horizontal, flat. This is lateral ventricle cavities, cavities with the liquor. Uh, liquor is situated in the ventricles. Uh, oh, this is anterior, corno anterior, one and two, corno anterior. Corno anterior has walls, medial wall number two, two. two. it's septum pellucidum, septum pellucidum, medial wall, lateral wall number three, caput nucleus caudatus, this is caput nucleus caudatus, anterior and superior wall, is formed by fibers of corpus callosum. This is corpus callosum. These fibers are Okay? Understand? This is anterior horn. This is central part. Central part. Superior wall of the central part formed by corpus callosum 2. Uh, medial wall forms by uh, corpus fornices. Inferior wall, inferior wall, two structures. Cruz fornices, see? Cruz fornices. And thalamus. Inferior wall. One thalamus, two thalamus. Then, What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, what's this? Um, occipital corno, occipital or posterior corno, posterior. Uh, posterior horn. The superior and lateral wall are formed by the corpus callosum too. Uh, on the medial wall, you can see two eminence. Eminence. Look on this side. The superior eminence and inferior eminence. The superior eminence, uh, the name of superior eminence, is bulb of the occipital horn. And inferior eminence, calcer avis. Calcer avis. Calcer avis is formed by the impression of sulcus calcarinus. Understand sulcus calc and uh, bulb of occipital uh, um, horn is formed by impression of the parietal occipital sulcus. Understand? And inferior wall, you on the inferior wall, number 31. Look, number 31. You can see the collateral trigonal. Collateral trigonal mm -hmm. on the inferior wall, which, for, which was formed as a result of uh, impression, impression of the collateral sulcus. Collateral sulcus on the inferior surface. Yes, yes. Understand? Okay. And this is inferior or temporal corner. In the temporal uh, lobe, uh, inferior uh, horn, the lateral and superior walls uh, is formed by white matter of hemisphere. On the inferior wall, inferior wall, you can see collateral. Um, one moment, collateral eminence, eminence collateralis. 
is a result of oppression of collateral sulcus too, like collateral trigonal. Understand? And in uh, on the medial wall of this horn, you can see the hypocampus. Hypocrus fornices and hypocampus goes go on the medial wall of the temporal cornu. Understand me? Yes. This is cruz fornices. This is you can see hypocampus. Yes. Okay, that's all. That's all. Now uh, read uh, this. It's my words. Yes. 